Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. So I'm recording a bit of my side project, my, uh, my clear combat mod, which, you know, it's just something to work on, I don't know. I'm having more fun playing around with Excel and, and the code and stuff than really worrying too much about the mod. I got some of the feedback on the previous video and I decided to extend it a bit, add uh, a few more levels, increase the, this, the, the gap between, uh, good commanders and bad commanders, and, um, I was actually recording this just because I think that there are plenty of people out there who might be interested in modding but don't really know how to do it so I thought maybe it'd be cool to just show you kind of how I'm doing it. If you're not interested in modding then this this video is probably not for you but if you want to see how it works and just kind of kind of get in it and you know I'll, I'll do my best to make you feel like you're doing it yourself and you can maybe start playing around with the game files yourself a bit. So. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm re I'm adding in these new traits, these new uh, tactics. And before I did that, I used Excel to calculate the the mean time to happen probabilities so that I could kind of get a feel for what numbers I need to use as modifiers in order to make the, the the chance for it to happen work. So let me just walk you through this. So there's there's four uh, there's five different tactics that they can use. They can use bad tactics, poor tactics, average, good, and excellent. Um, I'm planning on using a 30% increased damage and defense modifier for excellent, 15 for good, 0 for average, 15% negative for poor, minus 30% for bad, and if you have no commander you get minus 40%. So you're always better off having at least somebody. Always. But, you know, someone with zero marshal is going to be almost as bad as having no marshal at all, which makes sense. Now, what I've done is, again, using Excel, this is this is the way I think you have to do it. You can't just guess and check. It's it's way too complicated. So the way that it calculates these these potential outcomes is it takes this score that's in here, mean time to happen. Where is it? So mean time to happen, days equals 27. And, it, and it's not actually days. It's actually... What they do is they take the total number of days in a, in a, like, an attack group. For instance, this is the group skirmish. So it'll take all of the potential options in the group called skirmish that are within the phase of skirmish, and then they will add it all together and then divide that mean time to happen by the total. So the way I calculated this graph is I said, okay, well, what if I just assign bad tactics an 81 mean time to happen Poor tactics 27, average 9, good 3, excellent 1. And then what if I, you know, take a look at that. So if that's the case, these are the numbers. And then to automate the process, I made it so that, okay, this one is going to go down by 20% in likelihood for every one point of Marshall that is accumulated. So that number is decreasing over time. The poor is going to go down by 10% per. Average stays the same across the board good goes up by 10% per one point of marshal, and excellent goes up by 20% by one point of marshal. The key is that basically as the marshal score of the character increases, you see this these numbers kind of shift towards this direction. In fact, I could probably do something like this, conditional formatting color scales. Kind of give you a, a visual indicator for kind of how it works. I don't know, I mean it's kind of useful to me. But, um, long story short, a 30 martial character has a 79% chance of doing an excellent tactic and a 17% chance of doing good. And they're almost never going to do, like, make a mistake. They still could make a mistake, but it's very, very rare. Um, a 15 martial character would do... They're pretty good. I mean, 15 martial's pretty solid. Um, but zero martial is going to most likely do poor tactics or bad tactics. And the way I worked with this is I was just messing around. I've got it all set up so I can just change these numbers. I can go 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and just kind of kind of see how it looks as it changes, and try to try to find the right balance that I was looking for. And I'm pretty sure I've settled it on this one, 1.1, 1.2, and then this exponent increases this number here. So this would be perfectly parallel, like almost perfectly symmetrical. But I didn't really like that. Um, I thought that this one made more sense because I don't really remember why. I was looking at it and, uh, well, I've already decided. I like this one better. 
So anyway, that's that's kind of how I've done that, and now I've got to do the arduous process of kind of coding it in. So I'm using a lot of extra nomen like like notes to myself. I like to have very organized files because I tend to get confused and forget what the hell I was doing. Plus, I'm working on it part time, and I'm not a coder, so it's just something for fun. So this this uh, combat tactics file then is broken up into a few sections. I've got it labeled here for myself. Above the sections, non-tactics. This is where the no tactic goes, just if there is no commander. Below the sections, the skirmish tactics. So I'm I'm going through one by one now and doing the bad tactics first, which was this this one here. This one's complete. So I've got the infantry, offensive, and defensive, and all that stuff at minus thirty percent. That days to happen eighty one is that number right there. And then the modifier factor 0.8 Marshall 1 is this multiplied by Marshall 1. So then if it, if it gets up to level 2, then there's another factor of 0.8 applied. So every point kind of goes down the list. So yeah, um, I'm not going to probably keep talking, but I mean, I'm just going to show you while I'm working. It's, um, it's interesting, I think. So that's where bad ends. And now I'm now I'm in I'm, I'm mentally I'm leaving commentary mode and I'm thinking like okay what the hell am I doing so if I stop talking, then uh, just enjoy the music. If you if you're watching this if you're not watching this then I don't know why I'm asking if you're watching this because you're not watching this it doesn't matter. Poor tactics skirmish start. Poor tactics. Needs to be in the skirmish phase has to have a leader that's fine I already did the 15 percent stays 27 yep. Factor point nine yep one all the way down. Four tactics ends. Average tactics begins. Must be days five. Skirmish two. Group skirmish has to have a leader. Mean time to happens nine. And since it's an average thing, I don't need any modifiers, so that's where that ends. So I want to keep doing this though. So average tactics ends. And we'll copy that. And I'm getting rid of these two. Because I've got them grouped, I've got them grouped into bigger sections than that now. My first pass on this was not very clean. All right, so good tactics. Uh, it needs to get changed from 0.10 to 0.15. Okay, and the factor needs to change as well. to 1.1. So find where it says 0.9 and change it to 1.1. And replace all, should be 30 occurrences, yep, copy paste. And select from the modifier down. The tricky part about all this is you just gotta have to maintain the, like coding is all about organization in my mind. If, you, if you're organized and you can make sense of what the hell's happening, then, then you're good. Meantime to happen needs to change. That needs to be three. All right, so three t three days meantime to happen. That all looks right. One point one for every Martian score. And you got to be very cautious with your brackets. If you ever miss a bracket, you're screwed. Can throw the whole damn thing off. Okay, that's where that one ends, and we'll go excellent, begins, charge tactics, um, I think I'm going to move charge tactics up, control X for cut, I'm going to put that at the very beginning of the skirmish section. Actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it um, in the non-tactics section. It's not really a tactic, it's really more of a placeholder to get them into melee. What I did is I took the mean time to happen and put it at like this huge, huge number. They have to be in the skirmish phase, they have to be here, they have to have a leader. Uh, the way I look at it, uh, a flank without a leader is not going to enter combat, they're going to be just getting slaughtered. So after they've been in combat for at least six days, then it 
basically forces this event to happen. Like a 100% chance. That's the only tactic that they'll choose. So that can just stay up there. That's fine. And we'll go back down. Let me just make sure that that did cut it. It should have. Alright, so excellent tactics starts. And then this whole section here is the melee phase. So let's copy-paste that thing from here. Average, good. Group melee, okay. So we'll put it right here. Above this section is... Good tactics is over, excellent tactics needs to begin, so I'm going to use the entire good tactics as a template. We'll just copy paste. And go from there. And I need to find and replace where it says 1.1 and go to 1.3. Right? Is that right? No, 1.2. 30 were replaced, good. And this one has a base mean time to happen of 1. These need to get changed from 0.15 to 0.30. And the name of it is not good tactics, it is excellent tactics. I've already localized the files, so I don't need to worry about... I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, excellent tactics. It's been localized. Good, 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 good. Excellent tactics, okay. Does this make sense? Excellent tactics. 30%. Days 1. All the way down. Okay, that looks good. So I've already copied that as the template. And we're just going to plug that in right there. And we'll use this to close it out. And that does it for the skirmish section of combat. Now we've got to do the same thing for melee. However, melee tactics are... It's, it's identical the way I'm doing it. So the only thing I really would need to do is... Um, let's do this. I'm actually going to just... I'm going to dump what I did before. Siege offensive tactics needs to stay... That's, that's Crusader King. That's the vanilla stuff. It must be there. I don't really know how that stuff works. I don't really care. But all this stuff, I'm just going to delete. I'm going to delete because I was using an older system of... It was not very organized. I'm just going to get rid of it. and start fresh. Actually, I'm not going to start fresh because that would be a bad idea. Excellent tactics start. Excellent, excellent tactics end. I'm actually going to create a new one to back it up, and then I'll delete it. Melee tactics are going to go here. Pursuit tactics are going to go here. This is unrelated, so we'll just put some space. And I'm going to plug in... Yeah, let's close this. No, I don't like it. No, it's just, I'm just using that as placeholder text. 
I'm gonna copy everything from here up. Okay, so this, okay, I actually don't need that. And this needs to say, so wherever it says skirmish, I actually need it to say melee. 20 occurrences. Bad tactics, melee start. Bad tactics, group, melee. Phase, melee. Let's just compare that against this to make sure it makes sense. Looks like it. Yeah, I think we're okay. Because the meantime to happen, all these calculations are the same. Um, regardless, of the, that was a loud noise. Regardless of what, like whether it's skirmish, melee, or pursuit phase, it's still that base score there. It might even just be that simple. It's much simpler than what I did last time. Bad tactics, melee end. Poor tactics, melee start. Groups, melee, melee. Yeah, I think it's good. So copy all that. I'm just gonna plug it in here. take these same ones. I'm going to compare it against this one as well. I had a whole section down here for pursuit tactics. Oh, that's the wrong file. I need to look at this one. Group pursue, group pursue. Okay, so they called it pursue, I called it pursuit. So we'll change it. Pursue. Find melee, replace with pursue. Group pursue, phase pursue. Group pursue, phase pursue. I think it really is that simple. Probably not. The thing about modding is that it's it's a ton of ton of trial and error. I guarantee there's gonna be mistakes. I'm gonna have to fire up the game and it won't work right, and I'll have to go in here and figure out what the hell's wrong with it. It's a lot of work. But, I think that'll do it. For now. Um, one of the things that I did change is... Um, I did modify it as well for hills to just have a... I just I like it when it's simple. I don't like it when there's like random, random deviations in numbers and stuff like... If you fight in hills, that's good. If you fight in mountains, that's better. If you fight, if you cross a river, that's bad. You cross a major river, that's worse. Cross a strait, you're basically coming single file into the enemy, and amphibious landing. So minus 30 for both of those. So, all right. Well, I think I'm ready to go test it out a bit. I think that that should work. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up here because I can't load Crusader Kings 2 with fraps. It doesn't, it doesn't accept me changing from one, one background to another. So. Alright, well thanks for watching if you did watch it, and uh, yeah, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, then make some comments down below, I'd appreciate it. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. See you later.